Medical Services Minister Anyang Nyongo today claimed the NHIF controversy was the scandal that never was. His remarks come a day after Parliament rejected a report into the NHIF scandal, which claimed Public Service Minister Dalma Sotieno and Nyongo failed to stop fraud in the award of contracts to health providers. In spite of the halabalu, what I call trade wars, the jealousies of losers, in spite of the halabalu and NHIF, not a single civil servant has complained about NHIF civil service fee. Speaking at the ISO certification of the Kenyatta National Hospital, Nyongo said the so-called revelations into the NHIF scandal was nothing more than the work of malicious people. Just this week, I got a letter from the civil servants union saying that they never complained about the services they've been provided. They were never asked to go before the committee in parliament as members, as beneficiaries, to testify. And they don't understand where these people came from. The report presented to the House by the Chairman of the Parliamentary Committee on Health, Dr. Robert Monda, also wanted the role of Anyang Nyongo in the entire affair probed. In a vote late yesterday, MPs threw out the recommendations of the report en masse. On Tuesday, MPs tried to stop the report from being tabled, claiming it had been altered. The final report that was brought before MPs said nothing about recovering the monies that were improperly given to Meridian Medical Center and Clinics Healthcare Limited. According to the House Committee, at the beginning of January, clinics had only 22 facilities, but its list to the NHIF showed that it had 56, while Meridian had 13, and the list at NHIF showed it had 19. Although NHIF suspended its contract with the two, the monies paid out by Kenyans have not been recovered. A caretaker board at NHIF is expected to circulate a new list of health facilities for all civil servant schemes starting July 1st. The Police and Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission are still probing the matter. For KTN Prime, I'm Anne Kiguta.